Peace, peace, peace. This is your international sales and marketing villain, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You rock it with the best. You heard? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, for the 100 for 100 show. I am your humble villain, Tiger Toledo, and I believe this is episode 22. It's becoming a goddamn blur. Pumping out all these videos and content is becoming a blur, but I love it. A lot of good things are happening from it. So let me ask you something. Are you a, are you Mother Teresa or are you a goddamn business mogul? Are you Gandhi or are you a business titan? I don't get it, but... Let me ask you this, man. Have you ever gone to Bloomingdale's and Bloomingdale said, you know what? We don't carry this item. Go check Saks Fifth Avenue. Have that ever happened to you? Have you ever gone to Walmart and says, and the Walmart client said, you know what? You might want to go check Target. Target may carry that. They're not in the business for that. So what I had a client that not even a client, a, a person, an inquiry, a prospect. She said, your price is too expensive. Can you make a recommend? Do you recommend somebody else that's not so expensive? I was like, lady, I am not in the recommendation business. I am not in the recommendation business. A lot of you guys, and I hope you guys aren't doing it. If you are, shame on you for doing it. Shame on you for doing this. Stop making recommendations. The buck stops at your business. It is their job to find an a alternative if they cannot find one. They're telling you that your price is too high. Can you recommend somebody not that's not you with a lower price <laughs> who does that oh yeah uh you know what AT&T and Verizon said they're you guys price is too much uh do you recommend somebody yeah why don't you go try T-Mobile or Metro PCS <laughs> Stop that. Cut it out. You are not, you're in a business to make money or profit, not give out recommendations. You might as well, if that's the case, you might as well create a brochure of all of your competitors and send it out to all of your clients and customers. Try them out. They're cheaper than us. Try them out. They have a better software system than us. Try them out. They have a better customer service than us. Right? You see how, how ridiculous that sounds when you are referring and recommending another business? <laughs> What's up, Michelle? That is absolutely ridiculous. That's like going to Starbucks and saying, I'd like a Americano, and they tell me $4.33. Woo, Starbucks, that's just too much. Can you recommend somebody that makes uh, Americano a little bit cheaper? Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. Go check out Caribou, Caribou Coffee. Does that fucking make any sense to you? So why are you recommending other business services? Because, oh, it come back to me. It's karma. I'm putting out good energy. Go to fucking California and learn how to drink your own urine if you're looking for good energy. You're in the business to make money, goddammit. You're in the business to make a profit. Hoping on, on karma and energy and it'll come back to me because I helped them out. No, it won't. That customer will never come back. The most that you'll get is a thank you. Bye, sucker. 
Thank you for the recommendation. Now I'm going to take my money and go spend it with them. Why? Because you made a recommendation and you did not want to build enough value in your own company. So you said, go look for an alternative. And here's the alternative. What's up, Londo? Londo, let me ask you a question. Does it make sense that someone wants to purchase limousine service from you and they say your price is too much and they ask you to make a recommendation? Well, can you recommend somebody that's cheaper than you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go check out XYZ Limousine Company. They're, they're about $20, $30 cheaper than us. Thank you, Londo. And then they fucking go off. That doesn't make no damn sense. You're not Mother Teresa. You're not Gandhi. You're not fucking Nelson Mandela. You're in the business to make money. And if you give a recommendation to another person, make sure that that person cuts you in on that damn deal. Hey, I just sent you a referral, man. Cut me a piece of that pie. There are some misnomers out there. Exactly, Lando. Not at all. It don't make any sense. There's misnomers out there where they they have fluffed your head up with Tony Robbins books, The Secret, and all this other crazy shit, and you're you're totally missing missing what's really going on in this business world. I just want to be a good businessman. Good. It is absolute warfare. When you're in business, you got to be somewhat of a gangster to be in business. They don't tell you that shit. You're moving in on somebody else's client base, their own, their, their territory, their space. You're taking money out of their company's pockets. I'll give you an example. When Henry Ford came out with the Ford cars, there were over 4,732 other car manufacturing companies out there. 4,732 other car manufacturing companies out there. When Henry Ford started doing the whole assembly line and everything like that, he was tearing companies down. People were losing their fucking house, their home, their car, their marriage, their kids, everything. He was tearing down car manufacturing by the dozens at a time. When Walmart came out, which is considered a category killer company, he was tearing down the small mom and pop stores left and right with his business. Same thing with Home Depot, same thing with Amazon. Business is warfare. Why the fuck are you playing fair? Why are you playing fair? Come on, people. Let's let, let's get let, let's let's understand what the hell is going on here. If you're a barber and you work in a barber shop. And there are nine other fucking barbers in that barbershop with you. They are all competition. Not your homies. You are competing with nine people in a small crowded space. They will take your customers away from you when you're not looking. They will slide their business cards to them. They'll say, call me. Oh no, but you want to work in unison. You want to work in, in perfect harmony. But you, you have to pay for a booth. You got to pay $500 to have a booth. Come on, y'all. Let, let, let's do better than that, man. Put, put, on, put on your combat hat and your combat boots. Put on your Rambo knife. Clip up. And let's get to work. Peace.